Euclid's lemma statement if P is a prime and A B are integers, A B are integers such that P divides A B then then either P divides A or P divides B. Now here this is the given part P is a prime up to this and uh, P divides A B are integer and we want to claim here either P divides A or P divides B that is given given P is a prime and P divides A B and uh, our claim is that claim is that uh, P either P divides A either P divides A or P divides B. Now proof if P divides A then the theorem is theorem is trivial that is obvious but if P does not divide A but if P does not divide A divides A then in that case we want to show that show that P divides B. Now since P does not divides A and P is a prime implies GCD of AP that is PA is equal to 1. So by using GCD theorem using GCD theorem there exists an integer using GCD theorem sorry, using GCD theorem sorry theorem um, no, he, there exist an integer m and n such that such that 1 is equal to m a plus n p for some m and n are integer. Now multiply this equation multiply by b. So if you multiply both side by b then we get b is equal to b is equal to m a b plus n p b. Now say this is equation number 1. Now, now you can see here the given given part is p is a prime and p divides a b. Now from p divides a b implies p divides a b implies this a b is multiple of p and therefore there exists an integer k such that a b is equal to p k for some integer z some integer z. Now put this value of a b is equal to p k put this value a b equal to p k in uh, here here ok. So, put p is equal to uh, a b is equal to p k in equation 1 we get equation 1 becomes b is equal to m p k plus n p b that is we put here the value of a b is equal to p k ok. So, now from the right hand side we can take p outside p outside. So, inside the bracket m k plus n b. 
now here m is integer k is also an integer n b are also integer so their addition and multiplication is also integer so say b is equal to p times say k dash where where k dash is equal to m k plus n b and k dash is an integer so what this implies this number b is multiple of a is in multiple of p so multiple of p this implies p divides b and this is what we want to show that if p does not divide a implies p divides b and hence we can show that if p is a prime and if p divides ab then either p divides a or p divides b